Hi. Right now, I'm going to explain to you about autonomic dysreflexia. Autonomic dysreflexia, or AD, as I like to call it for short, is what happens when your body experiences pain or discomfort below your injury level. Now, if you're a paraplegic below T6, you are not gonna get autonomic dysreflexia. If you are an injury above T6, you will get autonomic dysreflexia many times in your quadriplegic or paraplegic life. Autonomic dysreflexia is what happens when your body sends out a sympathetic nervous system surge which gets blocked by your injury. It's sending out a surge of chemicals to your brain to tell your brain there's a problem. Your communication gets blocked at your injury level and that causes vasoconstriction in your subdiaphragmic vasculature, which means your blood vessels are tightening up below your injury. When your blood vessels tighten up and vasoconstrict, your heart has to work harder to pump the blood through your vessels. Now when your heart works harder, your blood pressure goes up, it skyrockets. This is a dangerous skyrocket. You have high blood pressure so that your brain will know there's a problem. So the high blood pressure is very dangerous and your brain detects hypertensive crisis through the baroreceptors of cranial nerves 10 and 11, which means there is a way for your brain to detect what is going on. However, it cannot lower your blood pressure and solve the problem. You have an injury. You need to solve that problem. What you need to do when you detect these symptoms, when you detect the pounding headache, the goosebumps, the flushed skin, the sweats, the nausea, the nasal congestion, which is a big indicator, and the cold, clammy skin. When you get those goosebumps, when you get those sweats, you need to figure out what is wrong with your body. You need to either empty your bladder, reposition or lay down, check for tight clothes or injury, take off your pants if the symptoms persist, and after 30 minutes of high blood pressure, pounding headaches, goosebumps, sweats, you need to go to the emergency room because if your body can't solve this problem, it needs help. You could get a stroke, a seizure, or cardiac arrest, retinal hemorrhage, pulmonary edema, or death. Therefore, you need to pay attention when you have AD. You need to solve it and figure out what is going on and you need to take care of your body. You can get AD from what or overheating. Now this means when I'm out in the heat in the summer and I get nasal congestion and I start to get autonomic dysreflexia, I need to get out of the heat. Now when I'm in my manual chair because I'm a low quadriplegic and I can take either my manual chair or my power chair, in the heat it is smart to take this power chair so that I can get out of the sun fast and I can get where I need to go. Um, that is very important. So that's autonomic dysreflexia or hyperreflexia, which they hopefully taught you about in your rehabilitation. And if not, you really need to be aware. So go live life to the fullest.